Hey guys, it's Chris. One and uh, I forgot my name. And Wings for Studios. I didn't forget my name. Oh wow. As you guys can see, my town's a total wasteland, and that's because we're gonna be showing you a bunch of different ways to catch tarantulas and scorpions. We know this is the first time using our voices, but we just thought it would work better. Also, I thought I should tell you that I DS suitcase to Chris's town. All right, well, let's get on with the video. Uh, tarantulas and scorpions like messy environments, so that's why I got rid of all my trees and flowers for the video. And tarantulas and scorpions have certain spawn points, so what you want to do is go over your whole town and keep those in mind. And if you don't find any, then uh, just go in a building and go back out and it'll reset. And we'll be showing you some mes mes methods for catching them, so we'll come back to you when we find a tarantula or scorpion and show you, and show you them. All right, well, uh, here we go. All right, guys. As you as you can see, we found a scorpion, and we're gonna show you the sneak up method. And sorry, this is a different character. It's just the DS turned off while Adam was. Uh, we we're gonna go set the time uh, differently because we um uh, we couldn't have any luck. So to sneak up on it, you wanna try and get um go up really slowly, and they won't notice you with the net. But you should like try waiting till. Your back's turned like that. Now, see Adam has a good lineup right there. But now he can, uh. Yeah, they can do that. <laughs> Alright, so. Yep. Yeah, all you have to do then is just go up closely and. You've got it. That's <laughs> kind of running away from her. Go a little faster. Hey, don't get worried if it does that, it'll do that. <laughs> it's on to him. Now, you're right there. Okay. See? Pretty simple. I, I, I'd say it's like the easiest method, but other people disagree, but Alright, well that's method number one. <laughs> Alright guys, so Chris just found a tarantula, and he's going to do the uh, distance method. So what you want to do is you want to get it running or going fast or whatever, then you want to uh, get it to chase you. When it chases you, do not charge after it. Do not charge at it. Run away. It'll start chasing you. Don't panic. Okay, so once you get a really good distance, turn around and catch it really quickly, like you just did. Um, this is the hardest method, in my opinion, and, uh, it's really, it's, it works the, it works the easiest when you're running up, so just try to do that. Alright, now we're gonna be showing you a method we actually learned from another YouTube user, uh, called Weak Wackle. It's, um... First, you get the tarantula to chase you, and then when it's almost off screen, you, you, uh, like you have to be facing, you have to be running up. When it's almost off screen, you pause it, switch out something, and then switch back your net. And then, you, it's a pretty easy method, because then you have a good catch. Alright, you're right about, I'd say right there. Alright, so. Adam's gonna like you put a shovel there so he can face the other direction. Now it's Ned, then he waits for the tarantula. And boom. Pretty simple because faces right toward it. But yeah, this is a pretty easy method to use and it's a good one. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so now Chris just found a tarantula. And next, we're gonna be doing a really hard method called the bus stop method. Uh, it was actually, we did this in one of our previous videos, but not too good quality so i'm gonna do it again um so you have to get like a really huge gain on the tarantula or scorpion oh yeah, another thing is the scorpion not tarantula oh well whatever um so you have to get a really huge gain on the tarantula or the scorpion and uh you have to make a really sharp turn onto the bus stop because if the scorp tarantula or scorpion follows you onto the bus stop you're screwed um also, be aware that tarantulas actually can jump onto the bus stop and bite you. And if you get close to, cl too close to the edge of the bus stop, then they will also bite you. Uh, it's a glitch, so 
be on the lookout for that. And you also have to get pretty low to the bus stop, so it gets hard at times, but you just gotta get skilled at it. And looks as though Chris is having a little trouble doing it. <laughs> Just hope he gets it eventually. The house gave him a big gain, actually. Now it's way off screen. It's good. And there it is again. Perfect. No. Oh, uh, you're screwed. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, good. So now he's got it onto the bus stop, and there he's got it. I actually thought he was going to need to get really a lot lower, but he got it. So, hooray. There's the bus stop method for ya. Alright guys, so, um, Adam sees a tr uh, scorpion, so, we're gonna try and do the cliff method, but, it's, it hasn't worked out recently, because we've been finding a lot of them, like, more than one at once, like, one, at some time, three at once, so hopefully we won't do that now, because it's taking us, like, 10, 20 minutes to find another one. So, let's just try and trap it on the cliff and see what we get. I wouldn't recommend this though, because a lot of cliffs, they don't really work out too well. Alright, Adam, don't... Okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful of those, because he could just fall in. Alright, I think he's gonna give up. Yeah, do that. Alright, but hey, if your cliff works for it, then go ahead. But it's still risky, because... Tarantulas jump and scorpion scale. So you gotta make a sharp turn, oh. just like that. Alright. The tricky part is Can being able to catch it. So should I do this? Should I do this? No. Yeah, try to get in the cliff. Just go for it. Just be careful. Adam's caught it before. We haven't caught one using this method for a long time. So. Alright. Down. Okay, yeah. Little closer. Yeah, oh, we finally got it. Finally, okay. Finally. Bro. Finally. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's taking us forever, like half an hour maybe to get, to get this method to work. But there you go. I we wouldn't recommend it because. Yeah, you were surprised they didn't see it scale, but, yeah, so, there are many of, there are plenty of other methods for doing it, so, but if you have a good cliff, then knock yourself out. Alright guys, so, Chrissy's a scorpion now, and what he's gonna do is he's gonna do the second chance trick. Alright, so you're gonna need your shovel for this. Okay, so basically this is gonna take a little bit of luck. So you gotta find a buried object. You're gonna wanna get some distance on it. You wanna find a buried object. And then this is gonna work if you have like several on you. So basically, you if you if when you bury up the object, the tarantula or scorpion is gonna stop chasing you. It's gonna be kind of hard to do. But see, look at that, I dig up. Uh, so now it stopped chasing you. So now you do the sneak up method. And you get it. That, see how it was? How easy was that? Forty-five seconds. Uh, Whoa! I didn't know we were that cool. Yeah. I know, right? Should have put uh, the eye patch on. Yep. All right. So that was cool. that's all for this one. A really quick one. Thought it'd be a tiny bit harder. Whatever. Okay, well, this is actually a method I made up. I just happened to find it once. It's actually not too hard. Once you get used to it, it it's pretty easy. And it works out for multiple ones. It's a uh, house method. We have it in another video, but here we're showing you right now. Uh, what you have to do is you have to get a good gain on it. And then when you um have a good gain on it, you can make a sharp turn on a house and... Then quickly go up and it'll be trapped on the inside. See, right here. Ah, see. Just missed it. See, we're trying to get a trap right under the door. And there's something interesting. I don't know if you call it a glitch, but... 
something interesting that happens. Like, you can get it to give up right away when it's in there. It's more fun with the tarantula, but... Because they keep jumping at you, but... Eh, scorpions work. Uh. Alright, see, right there, then you just hit the house with the net. And then it just gives up. And you can just keep doing that for some fun, but... Make sure it'll be, like, right there, otherwise it'll come around and hit you. Don't want to get too close to it. <laughs> Alright, now, when it does that, like, when it starts to shuffle its feet, like, don't get, uh, don't go right at it, because it's still, I think it's still gonna chase you. Wait for it to turn around. Alright, see, it's still shuffling, you know, you see it. I think it's turning a little... I don't know. <laughs> yes, Adam gets bored easily. Alright. Alright, uh, walk away a little, see what happens. Alright, now it turns around, then you just sneak up on it. Carefully. Make sure not to hit the house. <laughs> that sucks. Alright, see it's back turned. Go a little faster. And right there. Easy cake. Alright, well. That method works well if I do say so myself, but. It's fun, you get to torture. You have to have a little fun with them, man. And you have a good chance of catching them. Like I said, it works well with multiples. Into the distance method. So basically, you want to get the scorpion to like or tarantula to like go fast, then pull your net out and it should start running. Don't don't go after it. Like don't go near it. Run away. Then uh it'll be chasing you and chasing you and chasing you. Then at the right moment you want to try and turn around quickly and swing your net and hopefully you'll catch it. <laughs> Chris, I got it out of there. Should I get? And that house is gonna be a part of another. And go, Chris! Go, 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 go! YouTube, Chris sucks. Chris just sucks. <laughs>